everyone, Larry Boy here. This is Joe Spatterford. He's a concept artist at Big Idea. He helped to redesign the Larry Cave for this show. Today, he's gonna show you how to draw the bad apple. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by drawing kind of a circle shape for the top of the bad apple. Again, as in all my how to draws, I start off drawing a light shade first. And below the circle shape, there's gonna be kind of a square shape. Then, what, I get, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a big T shape, one that goes right down the middle and right across the, the middle of the circle. That's gonna set up where my eye line's gonna be. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blo start blocking in the eyes. Do one here, and one here, and they're gonna be touching, kinda squished right in the middle, right where that T shape that we originally drew comes together. Then we're gonna draw another circle where her nose will be. Then we're gonna draw kind of a smile down here. That's where her mouth will be. So her mouth has got kind of a B shape for the top lips and a U shape for the under lip. I'm gonna put two little dimples on the side of her lips to show like she's smiling and she's, she's making a grin. Now we're gonna go back to her eyes and we're gonna draw her upper eyelid, that's where her eyelash will be, and the other eyelid over here. And now we're gonna block in where her eyeballs are right here and here. She's gonna be looking off to that side. I'm gonna put another little circle within the eyelids to show a highlight. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to lightly block in the leaf shape and make an S shape and then make a C shape right on top. And then you can put a little bit of a point right up there and then you can put another one here. The top of her head is a little flatter, slightly angled here. There's a little line and now we're just gonna darken this curve here. And then we're gonna darken this curve here. At the top of her head is a stem, because she's an apple, right? What makes this character a villain is she's got kind of a, a spider leg belt right under the base of her. In the middle of that square shape, there's a big circle with two little circles right next to it. This is gonna set up what her belt is gonna look like. So I'm gonna draw these little circles on the side and that's where her legs are gonna come out because she's kind of like a spider shape. So the first thing we do is we draw these two squares that are kind of like tubes with little circles on the end of them. That sets up the lowest part of her leg and we're gonna do that again so now we're going to go up. Now we're going to do another circle. Another circle here. Another square here. Okay, now once again we do circles. Circle. And now we do a triangle. And now what you can do to kind of cheat the background is just kind of copy this shape, just the top of it, right behind it. We'll do it again here. Just look right at this and just copy it. Looking at that, I'm copying it, putting another circle, copying this triangle here too. Same thing here, copying that square, copying that circle, copying that triangle, and we do it one more time for this, for this character circle so we got three circles another square another circle shape another square shape just like these three another circle and another triangle and over here the same thing square circle triangle and we got to put this square circle triangle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it a little bit 
cleaner by going into it and putting darker lines. Okay, and that's the basic drawing for the bad apple. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go in, we're going to try to use this purple to try to find uh, where all the darks are in the character. So I'll just put a little bit of purple in there. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to try to put the greens that are in the character in. Let's see. Start off on the top of her head. There's a little bit of green at the top of her head. So I'm going to put that little bit of green in. I know her eyes are green. So I'm going to put those in. I know her leaf at the top is a green leaf. So I'm going to color that nice and green too. So now we, we basically got the, the greens that I know are going to be in the piece in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start throwing in some of the reds. Okay, and I'll get her lips. I'll use a darker red on her lips. We've got some red that it's actually right inside the, the belt on the bottom here. Now we're going to start blocking in the metal. For the metal, we're just going to block in the top and bottom. We're going to leave the middle part white. So blue on the top and bottom. That makes it look kind of metallic-y. Metallic-y means metal -y. I don't know if metal -y is actually a word. Probably not. Two more things to go. The stem. It's a brown stem. And, uh, oh, cannot forget the eyes. The eyes are, all the veggie eyes are, are a little bit dark, almost like black eyes there, but they're, they're, they're cute black eyes. We're actually just going to take a light blue and we're going to throw it right in, color in that middle contraption. Just all, I'll just go all blue with that one. And then as a last thing with this character, you might like to just put some green behind her just to make that red pop right out because she jumps out a little bit more in, in a green environment. Now we always got to learn to sign our images with our name. Take care guys, thanks again for coming and uh, hope to see you next time.